Okay, so this is Newt and Callista Gingrich's Schedule E residential rental. Um, they have uh, got a small little rental property, obviously, here, get like $6,835 in rent. Um, so I just wanted to break this down real quick to show you how an underwriter approaches this. Because if you look at the bottom, it looks like the property actually loses money. Net profits negative one thousand eight seventy five. However, you would add the depreciation back and add the interest back to get the true cash flow. So if you add the negative one thousand eight seventy five plus the two thousand eight hundred and six plus the three thousand four sixty three in interest, then you get to a cash flow of four thousand three hundred ninety four. So again, you take this negative net profit number right here, add the depreciation back, and add the interest back, and that's what gets you your true cash flow for the property. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of how an underwriter looks at Schedule E rental properties. If you had mul if Newt had multiple rentals, it would be here, and the total would be here. So if you wanted to get a portfolio, approach to your cash flow, you would just use the total numbers over here in this totals column. Hope that helps. Uh, for more, subscribe to my email list at realestatefinancehq.com. Thanks.